I rode a snake algorithm so fast it hit 13th place on the global leaderboard, but I had to throw away everything I knew about pathfinding to do it. This game is called The Farmer Was Replaced. It's a coding game disguised as an idle game, where you need to program a little farmer drone in a Python-like language. Every new crop comes with some sort of logic rule that you must follow. Pumpkins can only be harvested when they form a square. And cacti can only be harvested when they're sorted by their size. Here you can see my drone sorting a grid of crops. However, this video is not about any of those challenges. Let's talk about Snake. Yeah, that game. If you have a single drone in the field, and you make it wear a dinosaur hat, the farmer changes into a dinosaur with an appetite for apples. Don't question this part too much. Basically, it enables the snake minigame inside the farm was replaced. What we want to do is write a solution that fills up the entire board as quickly as possible. But there are a few caveats introduced by the game. First of all, we can't use any traditional pathfinding algorithm, because they are way too slow here. This is because we're not actually writing real Python code. Typically, things like if statements, loops and calculations with variables are extremely cheap. Here you can see that I can increment a variable over 12 million times within one second using Python. Inside the game, however, the duration of all these operations is fixed to be one single tick. When you load the game for the first time, it runs at exactly 400 ticks per second. Considering a 2 times sunflower multiplier and another multiplier for all the upgrades that we have, the game currently runs at 6,075 ticks per second. This means that the same increment loop would only run 6,000 times in this game versus the 12 million I demonstrated earlier. With that out of the way, let's see what we can do. It's often a good idea to start with a very naive solution and then build on top of that. The easiest way to beat Snake without any risk is by having the Snake follow the same cycle every time. If we find such a cycle inside our grid, we can beat Snake 100% of the time. This is pretty trivial and there are lots of viable answers here, like this zigzag pattern. I've also tried to use a cycle that I adapted from a Hilbert curve, but surprisingly that performed worse than the simple zigzag, so let's go with that. Anyway, let's run the simulation to see what we get. Because I pre-computed the whole cycle, the only operations we use are the built-in move function, so we don't waste any of those precious ticks. This implementation earns us a respectable place 150 on the leaderboard, which just goes to show that this is a pretty difficult problem. The cycle solution gives us a nice baseline, but how do we improve from here? Let's imagine our playing field as this 4x4 grid with the same Hamiltonian zigzag pattern. If we could somehow guarantee that some part of the path is free, we could make the snake take shortcuts towards the apple. To achieve this, we need one more piece of insight. From now on, think of the cycle as a numbered loop that the snake can never reverse. Any grid space is always in front of the head. So after index 15, the cycle continues with 16, 17, 18, etc. Knowing this, we can use the following rule. If the cycle distance to a grid space is less than or equal to the cycle distance to the snake's tail, the grid space is safe. This basically ensures that the tail will always move away on time. Let's look at two examples. In this scenario, the cycle distance to our tail is 2. We can rule out grid 18 and 20 because those would bring us further away from the apple. 6 is safe because it is only one distance away from our current position. Grid 8 is 3 moves away, which is more than 2, so it is not safe. Here we simply have to follow the cycle and can't take any shortcut. Now we move the initial tail position somewhere else. This time, both grid 6 and 8 are safe. And since 8 brings us closest to the apple, we take this shortcut. Now, 9 and 11 are safe. Because the tail is always moving, we can check for equality here. So we take this shortcut as well. Early in the game, this is a huge performance improvement. But when the snake becomes too long, the shortcuts start to become a hindrance, as some apples become trapped inside little pockets, which requires a whole revolution to fix. From my testing, this occurs at around 30% of the map size, give or take. So, without further ado, this is the final plan. For the first three apples, it's literally impossible to get stuck. So we take the shortest path to the apples. Then, we take an extremely greedy shortest path. In this phase, the snake tries to move in any direction towards the apple that is not obstructed. This doesn't always work, but it's consistent enough and we simply reset the simulation if the snake gets stuck. We can do this until length 32 before it starts to become unviable. Next, we change to the Hamiltonian shortcut algorithm that we discussed earlier. As mentioned before, the shortcuts start to hurt the performance at around 30%, so we keep going until then, 
And finally, we transition to the naive algorithm that we start with. With a final time of 13 minutes and 45 seconds, that earns us a 13th place on the global leaderboard. Pretty solid. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like programming, check out The Farmer Was Replaced. It's a really cool game. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to catch you next time.